Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Craig here from... Shit, forgot my notepad. Fuck. Hey, sorry about that. Craig here from Video Juice, doing another Legends of Tomorrow reaction. Uh, last time on Legends of Tomorrow, we had Camelot. Lots and lots of Camelot. <laughs> it was a fun episode. We had... They were going after uh, Sarah and the crew. Were going after the another piece of the Spear of Destiny. Uh, Rip, R the Legion of Doom now have two pieces. Sarah and crew have one, and there's one left out there. Um, it was good to see Stargirl again. The Camelot setting was fun. Rip is now on board the Wave Rider. And he seems to have control of Gideon. That's where the episode ended. So it'll be interesting to see where it picks up from. And if he does have control of Gideon. Might have been all part of his plan to get captured. It didn't look like that. Because Malcolm. Not Malcolm. Um, Damien left him there. When they were getting. When they when they lost control. Of the guys that were getting mind controlled. So. It didn't look like it was a plan. But. Maybe it was. Or maybe it was just a contingency. If he did get captured. So. We will jump in. Check it out talk afterwards see what it's like let's do this which is why we must travel through time i've also to got skittles spread of these so-called time aberrations and to erase their damage to history I'm prohibited from responding to your instructions mr hunter mr Sorry. he does not have control really? after everything we've been through wow I'm i thought the way they ended last episode that he would have had control spaniel broad tricycle please do not make me do that Oh, Spaniel. Oh, he's still got control. Tricycle. Very well, Captain. Damn it. Gideon's taking over navigation controls. Yeah, I can see that. Is he just going to bring him to where the, the next piece is? I think I can reboot the entire system, including Gideon, but it means shutting down the whole ship. Self-destruct sequence activated. What? Not good. Jax, what's your status? Give me a minute. I got four. They Mr. Don't... Hunter. <sighs> We've ruined a big epic face-off. <laughs> Give us the medallion. Tell your people Mick Rory is not to pilot this ship. It was <laughs> Mick. It was Gideon. 69,997,983 BC, to be precise. 983, that's the exact year where Rip's time scatter left me. That's a heck of a coincidence. Not entirely. The sudden reconfiguration of the navigation system forced me to select the oldest... Time jump us out of here now. Unfortunately, I am unable to. The ship the ship's is fucked. Come on, you two, shut up! <laughs> Your grandfather is one of the bravest men I know. You're not going to be happy in a few minutes when a fucking T-Rex comes out of the woods. Probably hibernating. No, she not. Or not. Nate? What? Don't Get the move. fuck out of there. <laughs> oh my god. Stay calm. Oh my god, give it off. Oh. Kick it. Kill it. Kill oh, it. forgot she was. Good with animals. Whatever this is. Not exactly the right time to be doing that, though, is it? I mean. It's not a bad idea at all. Fucking. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. <laughs> Take that shit from when you're on the ship. Given that you're entering his subconscious, I suspect it will look like something this should be familiar to our old captain. Interesting. Here, put these on. Gideon warned us that you shouldn't stay in the mindscape for longer than an hour. Oh, I hope we get ripped back this episode. Permanent. Real rip. You mean we can Sarah. You don't belong here. Oh, Sarah v Sarah. Come on, yeah. Oh. I'm evil Mick. I guess that's just regular Mick, but still. <laughs> I mean, let's find Rip. Get what we need and get Less out of evil. Here. Well, no, more evil. Got that backwards. <laughs> I think. I mean, one egg made me like seventy omelets. I regret nothing. <laughs> I, you have to tell I regret nothing. And where did you find male T-Rex urine? 
Well, actually, I don't want to know. <laughs> no, you don't. There's really nothing we can do right now. Damn it, amount of skittles. Oh. She lost her shock button. Mr. Jackson, I was hoping you'd hear my signal. Uh, who are you? Really? After all the time we've spent together. Well, I think I would remember if we had. That is, that's cool. A figment of Rip's imagination. Of sorts, but I'm very much real. Oh, what the f fuck? He has some control over his subconscious anyway. I can take care of myself. I wouldn't be going anywhere. Fucking dinosaurs. Not a hope. The reason why Snart and I got on so well was, well, we we trusted one another. And now I miss We're Snart. Friends. We had each other's backs. Yeah, I had no idea I could do that. She's making a habit of getting knocked out in there. You can open a door. Your rules. Grab that hand, you bitch. Grab it. Yeah. Come on, I'm Rip. Hunter. Oh. Captain Hunter. Captain Lance. Who are you? Sarah Gideon. Gideon Sarah. You're Gideon. Hello, Captain Lance. But you're like, I mean, you're really human. I was gonna say hot, but yeah, that too. Legends v Legends. He who he is. He's our prisoner. Isn't that right, my friend? Oh, this is gonna be good. Always. Hey, what are you planning on doing, man? Guess we're gonna have to kick our own asses. Oh, oh! Looks like somebody forgot to bring their powers. It looks like a new effect. It's a lot darker. That's cool. Doesn't matter what Jacks runs. I was gonna say, come on, Sarah, but then I'm just, then I'm just cheering for both. Just cover yourself in piss. Is that not what he did with his base? True and true. But Gertie is my problem. Time for me to become Bear Grylls. Where's that piss? Run! Ho oh, ho, he ain't running. Amaya. Can she T-Rex up? Ah, she can commune with him. Her eyes are very cool. They're probably all bored out of their minds stuck on that ship. I wouldn't say that. Took care of even me. Let's go find Rip. Where did Gideon take him? Yes. Let's Give him his gun. Oh, it's like this fucking ship. some I matrix shit going on. My quarters tonight. I'll give you something else to think about. It is time for a snoop so, snoop. How's it going? Uh, yeah, hey. Um, I can't let it progress. Yeah, I don't think you can. Uh, Sorry, but there's no way he's listening to that, right? I'll start tomorrow. <laughs> it wasn't you. This is you. Yes. Doctor Palmer and Mister Jackson have Thank finished making God. We are ready to time jump, Captain. You know, you nearly ruined Star Wars, right? 
<laughs> the wave rider looks to be in pristine condition. Well, you know, just holding up pretty well. I liked you better when you were killing people. <laughs> I, I see that not everything has changed in my absence. Proof for Apollo 13. Yeah, man. Sucks for Ken, but I am over the moon. See what I did there? Yes. Well, <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, so next episode should be very interesting. Apollo 13. That will be um, that will be very cool. Very cool to see how they put the legends into the story. I maybe they are the ones that cause the crash or whatever they're doing there causes the crash. That will be that that's going to be fun. Um, that will be next week anyway. I'm really happy that nobody got that nobody got angry at Rip near the end. It could still happen next episode or the episode after. Uh, but usually when stuff, usually when a storyline goes down this way, they usually have an episode where they, everyone is like, ah, but you did all these things. And then he's like, but it wasn't me and all this kind of shit. So I'm glad they didn't do that. I hope they don't. Uh, a lot of shows have a tendency to make a full episode on it. Drag it out kind of. So I was really happy they didn't do that. Um, could still happen down the line, but once it's not full episode dedicated to it and it's not, it's not like... The usual shite then would be good it's cool seeing a physical manifestation of gideon except for the voice that was um it was cool it, it showed a special connection having her there the whole time N watching over him while he was a prisoner and then helping helping him get out when the legend showed up to help to, to save him it's cool it showed the the bond that they have grown together over the years I, I was saying it's a little weird because it's a ship and all that but I mean it's a show about superheroes and that's so it's probably not that weird I also just have written down here I miss Snart because of the um, <laughs> because of the Leonard Snart name drop with, uh, with Mick I thought we'd get him back I didn't think he would stay dead I thought we would get him back I thought we would he would be back already unless they're shelving that and bring him back in season 3 maybe um, I don't think they'll keep him gone forever but I could be wrong. I just they keep giving us the name drops. I don't know. It's part of like they're not they're like they're not being overdone or anything. They're just putting them in there when it's needed. Like with this to drive home the point about um, trusting your partner and that with 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 making Stein. But I just want I want Snart back. <laughs> he was such a he was such a fun character and he was. He was really fun with the uh, with the legends. He worked well off everyone else, and him and Mick together were just were just a lot of fun. Basically, I, I thought the, the the that pairing was very good. I'm still really annoyed. Speaking of the the, the Jacks or the Stein and the um, the Stein and the Mick conversation, I feel like we've had this 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 rift between uh, Stein and Jax for since the show started now, with Stein not believing in him and not. Not having a, a not having as much confidence in him as he should. I feel like we've th had this conflict in other episodes before, like two or three times maybe, and it's always the same conclusion. It's like I trust you now, I trust you now. It's like, like I have the confidence in you that I should have now, and then if, like maybe six episodes later they do it again. So it's um it's a little frustrating to see that again. But it was very short. It was very short, and I don't think it, it like it didn't drown out the episode in the, the, this time. So it wasn't too bad this time. But I hope I hope we're kind of nearing the end of that now and I hope that 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 story kind of thing is going to go away because it has happened quite a bit already in the show so yeah I'm, I'm I enjoyed I really enjoyed the episode I didn't actually write a whole lot down I was just um watching it all the stuff in Rick's in Rip's mind I really enjoyed I thought it was cool seeing the the the, the damage that Ebar did to his mind. I, it was interesting seeing that, in, like in his subconscious, seeing the his uh, subconscious projection or whatever you want to call it of that. That was cool. Turning all like having him, having his mind think that all of the legends are bad guys. It was it was it was interesting. It was good the way they handled it. I still don't understand why they couldn't hook him up to Gideon and have Gideon fix his brain. 
I mean, they brought people back from the dead. Surely they could have just scanned them, seen what was different in a previous scan before he was taken, because surely they do scans like that. Maybe, maybe I mean, I know they needed... Um, they needed a... Pro like, I, I know, story-wise, they needed an episode kind of thing to bring him back. So it wouldn't have been a whole lot of... It, it wouldn't have been very exciting to have him just strapped into a machine and fixed like that, so... I understand from that perspective. I understand it from that perspective. But when you have a machine that can do stuff, like bring people back from the dead, I know they're not fully dead. They're, they're still brain activity, but it's still the body was still dead. When you have a machine that can bring people back from the dead, it's kind of annoying when it doesn't is when it's not used for something else that it could be used for. But I mean, the episode was good, so I'm good with it. <laughs> uh, probably gonna call it at that. Uh, I didn't actually check if there's a Legends next week, so we might be back next week if there's an episode. If there's not, we'll be back the week after. They are taking breaks with different shows, the CW, DC Universe. Uh, they are taking breaks every now and again, like Flash is off next week. Uh, Arrow is off this week. I think they're trying to realign the shows because we're coming up to the finales now. And in the finales, I think I said this in one of the previous videos, in the finales they do do some crossovers. They have a few characters helping with battles and stuff like that. So... They're probably trying to realign the shows for that. So if there's an episode next week, we'll be back next week. <laughs> if there's not, it'll be the week after. And uh, thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you like the video, you can check out the Facebook page. We'll be posting a lot of stuff on that. A lot of gaming stuff. Things like that. Um, yeah. See you next time. Later. Oh. What the fuck? Jesus. What is happening? Oh.